Hi everyone and welcome to a review of the e.l.f. Essential Custom Eyeshadows. Now these products have been around for a while but I've decided to do a review on them because first of all I think they are heavily underrated products and second I have not seen any review containing all 18 colors. So here it is. All these colors are available for $1 a piece on the e.l.f. website and there is actually a 4 pan compact that goes along with this eyeshadows that you can order or you can just put them in a Z palette and that e.l.f. custom compact is also uh, worth $1 and I will show it to you later. I also know that um, a lot of these colors and the compacts are available at um, a variety of Target stores throughout the United States so if you're interested you can also look there. And um, it may also be worth mentioning that if you're willing to wait, e.l.f. has extraordinarily, extraordinary sales all the time going on. Um, and um, these are $1 regular price, but at least twice a year from my experience over the past few years with e.l.f., they will have a 50% side off sale and they also offer free shipping over 35, meaning that if you are willing to wait for some time, um, you may actually get these as low as 50 cents a piece, which is just insane deal. So um, let's quickly run through the colors. So what we have here is first of all ivory, and then pink eyes and truly pink, and then we have wisteria. This is taupe, third from last, and then peach fizz, and then wheat, and then on the second row here, what we have is um, golden glow, mocha, sage, then driftwood, then moon dust, periwinkle, teal, and you may notice that teal is the only bright kind of color out of this um, collection. All of the rest are kind of neutrals. And then finally on the last row, what we have is purple, aubergine, navy, and dusk. This is what the e.l.f. custom compact looks like. It's white square and it just has e.l.f. custom compact written on top of it in silver. And this writing will rub off, um, but the compact itself is actually quite robust. I have traveled with it extensively, including extended plane flights and did not have any kind of issue with it. Um, so it's very robust, very good for traveling. And when you open it up, you will see that it has four slots and I, I have already filled three of these slots and it also comes with a dual sided applicator which I honestly do not use a lot of, but I guess, you know, it's good for traveling. So um, it has a huge mirror over here, which is really cool. And um, you can see that the, the eyeshadows themselves, they come with an eye imprinted on the top of them. I'm not sure that you can pick up on it right now, maybe now. And then on the back, each of them has the name and a magnet. So it's really easy to put them into the compact because they will just magnetize in, just like that. And once you have them inside, they're actually quite secure. So if I turn this upside down and shake it, you will see that nothing falls off. And it's actually quite easy to take off this inner plastic uh, part if you want, and you could just end up with um, a really small Z palette that way. And these pots, by the way, also fit MAC eyeshadows. So if you have some of those and you don't feel like spending a lot of money on a MAC compact, you can just buy one of these because again, these are just $1 regular price. Here you have the four lightest colors of the e.l.f. Essential Custom Eyeshadows. And the colors are Ivory, Pink Eyes, Truly Pink, and wisteria. Now I have chosen to shoot this uh, these in direct sunlight because I'm hoping that you'll be able to pick up on the color better in this way. 
Here are the swatches of the four lightest colors in direct sunlight. We have here Wisteria, Ivory, Pink Eyes, and Truly Pink. I hope that the direct sunlight helps you to see the shimmer. So Wisteria is this pale purple, well lilac -y purple color, I would call it, with a shimmer. Ivory is just white, a shimmery white. Pink Eyes is a very subtle color. I use it as a highlighter and has just a very subtle pink shimmer and I also think it has a little bit of a gold shimmer looking at it with the naked eye and then next to it the final color is truly pink which is this pale pink color and I think it's actually really nice as an all over the lid color again no base so here are the colors wisteria ivory pink eyes and truly pink Here are the next five colors, and what we have here is Taupe, Peach Fizz, Wheat, Golden Glow, and Mocha. These are the swatches once again in direct sunlight. So what we have here is Taupe, which I do think it's kind of a sandy color more than a taupe, and it definitely has a lot of gold. Next to it, we have Peach Fizz. Fizz which to me is a golden peachy color, pretty much like the name implies. And then next to it, we have wheat. And to me, wheat looks like the most golden of the bunch. And if you will, the most classic kind of golden of the bunch. And then next to it is the one called Golden Glow, which to me looks more like an orange gold, so to me, wheat looks more like a typical golden and golden glow more like an orangey gold. And then next to it is mocha, which I think looks very coppery. But they're all pretty and shimmery and very pigmented for being swatched without a base or a primer. And as I was mentioning, just lightly dipped my hand into these and I got this color payoff, which isn't bad. Here are the next five shades, and these are Sage, Driftwood, Moon Dust, which has to be easily one of my favorites. You can also notice that by the dent I put in it, Periwinkle, and Teal. So these are the colors again in direct sunlight. This is Sage, this is Driftwood, this is Moon Dust, Periwinkle, and Teal. Now, as I was saying, sage is this beautiful sage green color with a lot of golden shimmer to it. Then driftwood is a beautiful brown with some coppery shimmers, I would call them. Moon dust, one of my all-time favorites. A brown with purple shades to it. Really pretty. Love that one. Periwinkle, kind of a dusty, lilac-y color. And I find that Periwinkle doesn't have a massive amount of shimmer. And it's probably out of all 18 the least pigmented. But it's still very workable and it's a good blend out color, I find. Or even all over the lid color. And then finally Teal, which is this bright teal shade. Perfect for the summer. Just great. I really love this teal one as well. So there they are. And now on to the last four shades. I know this may look like there are five shades, but it's actually just four of them. Because these two ones, the first two ones, are actually the same shade, which is called purple. The only difference is that this is an older version. You can also see by the dent I put in it. And this is a, no, a newer version of the same color that I ordered. 
So we have purple here, and then we have aubergine, navy, and dusk. So going over to the swatches in direct sunlight, these two over here are the purple shade. The first one is the old purple shade that had some glitters. I'm not sure how well it's going to be able to pick up. And this is the new one that does not have glitter, just the sheen. And I actually find the new, wear, the new one nicer than the old one. I'm glad they took away the, uh, the glitters. There were like purple glitters in this one. And then aubergine, which is a warmer tone of purple. So whereas this has more um, blue tones, this one has more of that burnt plum reddish kind of purple. Really nice as well. And then navy, a dark blue shade. And then finally dusk, which is an almost black shade. I would call it a very, very deep charcoal. And as you can see, the pigmentation for barely having touched them in all of them is really, really nice. No primer, no base. Really nice. So in terms of general thoughts about um, this line of eyeshadows, I would say that they all blend nicely on the eyes. They last very well. I don't have any problems with them creasing over a primer. And I always do apply a primer anyways, regardless of what kind of eyeshadows I use, whether they're cheap drugstore brands or high-end. So that doesn't have to do with the fact that these are very, very affordable. Um, and I really, really like them. I think they're nicely pigmented. And I think you should really give them a try. So my overall opinion of these would be... I would give them out of 10 an 8.5 just because they are a bit powdery and you do have to tap off your brush and there are no matte shades all of them are shimmery to different degrees but again none of them have glitter now after the glitter has been removed from this one purple shade so I definitely say give these a try if you haven't tried them before you'll probably be very surprised I'm very pleasantly surprised at that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.